create our API key I'm inside console.developers.google.com which you can see in my URL and we are going to create an API key okay now this is something which we will have to copy and for now I will feed it here we will um, figure out a you know, good place for this and one important thing is if you need to work with the Google API you need to ensure that in your um, developer console in the library your you know uh, API is enabled I think uh, you need to do that by default it uh, is not enabled so you have YouTube data API version 3 um, for me it is API enabled and I can do manage and everything but I think if you haven't already done that you will see that list okay so yeah let's go over it I have now a API key if I now refresh see the error is gone which means now we can look at <coughs> what our response is going to be console.log such response response refresh i'll just hmm blow it up so we have e tag kind next page token it is going to be important for us later on right now we are only concerned with items items have all the search results this is my first video id video id is this and then inside snippet we have the entire data title the descriptions and everything so which means right now i am only concerned oh i have my own search result here as well so yeah we are only concerned with the items so why don't we do one thing um just remove the console and if we have a callback okay which is second parameter if you have a callback um we will do callback as a function and send the response dot data dot items okay so yes what we are saying is if the callback is present then we assume it's a function and we pass the items okay um right now i think this should be fine but i think later on we'll have to uh, refactor it because we will need those tokens as well but we'll see that later on um it's a good way to refactor obviously so i'm passing the items and what we can then do is we're doing the search why don't we have methods and this handle uh youtube videos okay and i have videos i need a data because my dashboard will be dependent on that so videos is an empty array and rather it is null and then and then and, and, and everything is fine once i get this i'll say this dot no sorry yeah response is this dot handle hmm. this is strange that nowadays the autocomplete doesn't work i don't know why um response okay so um, I'm sending this response here and initially um, or rather you know what I think initially it is too simple we can keep it directly as um, this dot videos equals response okay and that way let us 
refresh go into view view dashboard has videos and we have the entire data right so this is done which means um, our video group will come into picture I think soon I should create a basic um, snippet out of it. It takes a lot of time. So this component will um, expect a prop, which is the video. And this is the video detail right so i'll need the video here okay i need a video detail and i will also need a video item because i need to show the individual videos um, in the group the group is basically the container of the data okay and uh, that's how i was planning to um yeah i think we should create one um video item dot view video item we have video group video detail video detail is a it's going to be a route later on so i can get rid of video detail for now um video item okay and so um props this is going to accept a single video this is group just to make sure that things are working properly um, okay this is done and now what I will do is let's have a wrapper um, or rather you know what I can do it directly here video oh uh, yeah this is going to be a problem the video is a predefined thing so i'll do video item that's fine item okay v4 video in videos um i'll need to pass a key is going to be uh, let's quickly check that inside this i can use this but it's too long um video id and then video id is it yeah uh, let's do that video dot id dot video id that's uh, going to be better thing instead of that e tag let's see if we don't run into any problems i think that's good enough um, okay so this is kind of done i think i don't have any errors so let's look at it oh i'm sorry i haven't passed the data so video dash um instead of i'm here search is here import um video group from hmm, components so i'm sending the videos here okay so video group will get 
videos and v4 videos will have video equals video All right and yes we have the entire stack this is the video group which has an array of five videos and individual <coughs> videos are present as well right so <coughs> sorry uh, because we have uh, bootstrap 4 let's quickly see how we can use the cards uh, documentation and cards cards I think panels are gone and this is the new thing cards so let's use it I have my video item All right so I'll just add it here this can be tackled later on um, so I have, will have video dot snippet dot title okay if you remember we have snippet and inside snippet we have everything right so this is my title description um, you know what let's have computed properties because we, I'm going to play around with them I cannot just print the entire description and the title so <clears throat> initially I will have video title return this later on we will uh, you know do the actual thing so video description this is description okay mm. so I have this mm, so far so good let us do the images as well thumbnails so return so thumbnails medium and url but obviously i need to specify the height and width i think let me let me see mm, let's first render it let's see what is coming up hmm, what happened some error what is it reference video is not defined oh i'm sorry this 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 will have this right <laughs> so should be fine now obviously the images are not coming what can be the reason this is my prop and oh yeah i don't know how i managed to do this <laughs> we bind very high on expectation that I have not written the code and I still expect it to understand and automatically you know, work. Mm -hmm. We will use the alt tag for here. This as well. We bind. We bind alt. Should be this. Okay. Refresh. And yeah, I think we are good. We have this. Thumbnails are coming. Um, so I when I was doing the layout, it was coming uh, in different uh, sizes. I don't know why this is not happening here. Mm, let me see. Large. If I do large, will that make any difference? 
Hey, what happened? Isn't that large? Oh, what was it? Snippet thumbnails high. Okay, so it's not large but high. Mm. Oh, that's nice. I think everything is falling into place. Um, only thing we need to do is how do I get that into a grid? thingy uh, okay uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll just see I think what we can do is um, we can use uh, isotope isotope right yeah this thing to have a layout done properly okay so um, yeah I think what I, what we have done so far is we are using the YouTube API to get the data. Um, the dashboard is the primary component which is going to you know, control all the data uh, for the entire application. I can have something like X-Men. Okay, and why don't we also change the items to 10? Okay, there's items, right? Items, 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 yeah. So hit refresh. And if you see, we have different images now or different videos actually. So yeah, our search is working in a very basic way. We are able to hit the YouTube API and uh, draw these results. In the next video, we are going to get a nice looking um, masonry UI using Isotope. And then we will also handle our search. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, yeah, do drop your comments on, you know, uh, what do you feel about the new series and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.